YouTube. This is Jen, your pudgy picker. Got another Monday thrift haul for you. Got a full table of goodies. Did really good this time. Found a lot of good stuff. Found some shirts, even found some fabric. Uh, if you remember last week, I told my fabric story, and I will get to the conclusion of the fabric story. <laughs> As you can tell, it's kind of late. It's already dark. It's been a very, very, very busy day. And one of the things that happened today is little baby Tater, she got fixed today. So she is a little bit drowsy, a little bit out of it. <laughs> so she's been like a little uh, clingy baby today, right Tater? Um, they gave me a cone of shame to put on her, but she has not messed with her little baby incision. So we'll see how she does. So we're going to have her rest. If I move to a different room to do something, I pick up the bed and take it with me. <laughs> so I told my husband, I said, I really should have named her Tumor because she's always like on me like a tumor. <laughs> okay, so let's get on with the good stuff. Uh, try and do this in some kind of order. These are really cool. I never buy a really candlesticks, but these... We're so pretty. They're supposed to look like, uh, what do you call it, mercury glass? They were $3 a piece, regularly $12 a piece. And I probably will get cheapy dollar store candles to put in there just so uh, it looks much better. This is like a brushed metal uh, 3D wall art of three horses. Isn't that pretty? And that one was $3. You know me, I have to do research on all this to decide whether it goes on eBay or if it goes in my booth. <clears throat> Excuse me, this was probably a Christmas type item, not worth a huge amount of money. It's $3.50. It is a vanity tray. It's a place for a man to put his keys and ring and watch, money and change. So that is kind of nice. People are always looking for those. Got another jewelry tree. This one is really cute. Metal with this little flower on it. That one was two dollars. People are always looking for those. I've been selling a fair amount of them. Um, I got a whole stack of post-it notes. There's eight packages still shrink wrapped. It says there's a hundred in there. Does that look like a hundred to you? I don't know, but I figured it was a good price at two dollars. Uh, this very pretty teal, uh, I guess that's a candle holder, lantern, very pretty teal color. Um, can't remember how much this was. It was 10, so it was 5. Very pretty, very popular color right now, so definitely wanted to pick that up. You guys remember these? My mother used to have one of these. Uh, the batteries are dead, but when you open it, it says, uh, stop, step away from the cookie jar. And his eyes move and his mouth moves. So uh, I always, whenever I find these, they always sell. It was a whole 250, put the batteries in, make sure it works, and that will go out. I don't know, I'll probably put it in my booth, but I will check online just to make sure. Got this pretty pink bird, like on a pedestal. Uh, it was two dollars. Very interesting little snack bin that looks like a pile of peanuts on top. Um, don't know if I can get close enough, but you can tell this is old. It says Japan on the bottom. It has a lot of crazing, but it's such a cool little unique piece. I just had to get it. Um, yes, I got a Vera Bradley bag. This is a hipster or a crossbody bag. It was $12.50, so it was $6.50. Very clean, very cute. One of the uh, ribbons I noticed was missing. And I was like, oh. So I open it up, and it's in there. So I will make sure that that is put on there before it goes up online. People seem to like the hipsters or the crossbody bags much better. So that should do well. Now, do you guys know what this is? I always pick these up when I see them. I had one in a video not too long ago. Um, you know what it is? It was only $1.99, so let me show you. I'll put it on the floor. This is called a boot jack. 
And what you do is you step on it this way, and then you put your foot in here with your boot on to pull your boot off. Isn't that awesome? What my dad used to do, my dad was a state trooper for 22 years. Don't know if I've ever mentioned that. And when he came home, my mom did the old straddle the leg and put your one foot on her butt and give her a shove to get your boot off. Yeah, wasn't very glamorous. <laughs> but I figure for $1.50, it's funny, whenever I buy these, I don't think I did it this time. Uh, if it's not too busy, I'll ask the person at the register, do you know what this is? And then they'll say, mm, no, and then I tell them, and they're like, oh, that's really neat. And I'm like, see, you learned something new today. So I always strike up a conversation. Um, people are always nice, and you never know when that kindness will come back to you as well. Um, got a very nice metal with this rubber ring on it, dog food bowl. It was only $1.50. These are not cheap if you buy them, even at Walmart, let alone a pet store. I got that from Miss Tater because they're not quite sharing a food bowl yet. And I had a smaller one, and she would go in there and knock it over. So we'll see how that one does. And I also found a sweater. I took her somewhere over the weekend, and she was freezing. She was shivering, and I'm like, so I told my son, I'm like, um, I need to get her a sweater. And he just looks at me and rolls his eyes, and he's like, please don't. But it was only $2. Isn't it adorable? Pet life. It says extra small, but it's not too teeny tiny. Once she feels better, I'll wrangle her into it and see what she thinks. And if she hates me too much, then I'll probably <laughs> take it off. Um, I purchased four more shirts today. Um, three of the name tags I recognize. One, not so much. This shirt is kind of a cotton. If you notice the beading on it, and let me show you the name on it. Ula Popkin is a Shishi Fufu name. And I was looking at this because at first I was like, oh no, is that a spill? No, it's a design on the shirt. <laughs> so that one was $4.50. This one is really pretty. And it's got, uh, they're not really sequins, they kind of blend in really nice. And this one is, uh, what is it, Kiara? Yeah, Kiara. Very pretty. That was $4.50. This one was $3, and it is an Avenue brand. This, the pretty thing about this one is it's got a, what they call a high-low. It's a little higher in the front. And then it's got this sheer panel sewn onto the bottom of the shirt, so that's very cute. Make sure I get that in some decent pictures. And this one is A Woman Within. Now that is a Romans or Elaine Bryan catalog, but this is like in brand new condition. It was only two. It's got real pretty uh, blue and aqua and teal colors, so I thought that would be pretty awesome. Now, after seeing all the shirts, and all the other goodies stuff. I'm gonna sit down and show you what I got here. I got some crafting items. First I got this Janlin counted cross stitch. It's got all these little kitty cats exercising. <laughs> it was only two dollars. It says arrow back cats. It's got everything in it, sealed, never opened. And then uh, fabric. I got to tell you the fabric story. So if you remember last week, I told you that I went in and went to the furniture and then I went to the fabric and before I got to the fabric, I saw a lady who had lots of good fabric in her cart and I was like, oh, she got to it first. <laughs> so I said, next week I am going to go straight. Oh, Sorry. <laughs> there's my loud son in the kitchen. What'd you break? nothing. <sighs> the little darlings. Okay, so anyway, I went straight to the fabric this week, and I got there, and I'm throwing stuff into my cart, and a lady that must have been the same lady from last week came up, and she's reaching over me. So I just keep grabbing stuff and throwing it in the cart, because I'm like, uh, yeah, 
I'm going to get this stuff and you can get the leftovers this time. <laughs> so when she's reaching over me, she goes, oh, oh, excuse me. <laughs> so, yeah, I kept my claws in, so don't worry. You know, it's everybody's stuff until it's in your car, and it's definitely not yours until you pay for it and put it in your car. So, I mean, I'm telling the story to be funny. I, I literally wouldn't start swinging at someone in the thrift store, even if they deserved it. No, anyway, uh, this is Walmart fabric. It is broadcloth. There is two yards in here, and it was a dollar each. So I got one in brown, uh, two in pink, and broadcloth is good because, you know, people do quilts and everything else and they need cutesy fabric, but they need plain fabric too. So always keep that in mind. This was kind of cute. It's a baby fabric and it's got Winnie the Pooh and Tigger and Piglet. This one has a decent amount and it was $1.50. Another babyish one's got ducks and teddy bears and bunnies on it and it was $1.50. This almost looks kind of vintagey with the colors and the style so not sure but there is a lot on there the next one is holly leaves with cardinals there is at least four yards on here and that one was only a dollar fifty it's funny i'm looking through and there was a piece that was probably maybe a yard and it had 3.99 on it and i was like really so no i didn't get that one but this has got a lot on it this one's really pretty. I don't, I haven't really found this at the thrift store yet. It is a burlap with hot pink polka dots. So I know burlap is very much in fashion now for people buying and making things. So that's a dollar ninety-nine. So it was a dollar. And these last two are upholstery fabric. Look at the bright colors on these. This was only a dollar. It does look vintage. I am going to do some research. It's probably a good yard and a half, two yards on that. And then this one is Roses in the Greenery. That one was only $2, and there's probably three yards on that one as well. And then I found these two. Um, these were not hanging up, of course, because they're in a package. There's two of these. One appears to be opened. The other one is not opened. But the one that's opened doesn't look like it's been, like everything's been, you know, opened up and uh, unfolded. And this is from Joanne Fabrics. It is a limited edition quilt kit that when finished measures 43 by 57. And it says, we will not falter, we will not fear, we will not fall, we will not forget. And then it has September 11th, 2001 on it. So very pretty, um, uh, very nice fabric that is in there. Everything's measured out. And then I guess the only thing you really need is um, like the, uh, you know, tape measures, batting, that kind of thing. But like I said, that one is sealed. This one is, see, here's the back of the sealed one. And here's the back of the unsealed one. So this doesn't appear to be uh, disturbed, even though the top is cut open. So I'm going to do some research on these. These limited edition ones can be worth something, um, especially something that is very subject specific. These were $5.99, so they were $3 each. So do my research on those. I figured with this one that was open, I thought if it's been disturbed or you can tell it's been opened up, then I'll just take the fabric out and sell the fabric separate but that doesn't appear to be the case in this one. So I will just disclose, disclose that it is open. Got some more rubber stamps. Um, uh, I wanna show you this one too. A uh, little salt and pepper shaker. They're kind of filthy, but very adorable, $2. Um, now, all of these rubber stamps were in four separate packages. Um, I open them up, of course, so I can show you what I got. They were all $2.99 each, which makes this three, six, nine, twelve, half price six dollars for all of these. I do have a bin of rubber stamps that do sell pretty well. I sell most of them for a dollar unless they're larger. All of these will go for a dollar. And from what I can tell, not these package ones, but I have two, four, six, eight. 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 25. So that's $25 for 
a purchase of six dollars so that was very good all of these from what i can tell have never been used they're very clean so awesome awesome there are some ones up there that are pretty filthy and that i don't bother to get because it would just be a mess <laughs> so all these i say are new ones i got two packages in the stationary aisle um, i do like stickers i occasionally put them on correspondence um, this package was $1.49 or $0.75. Cents. This one's got a lot of nice stickers. These are like 3D bunny stickers. And then you have, all these are sealed. You got puppies and kitties and twisted whiskers. Ooh, those are scary looking. And then these are like fashion clothes and stuff. Ten sheets. And then, of course, what every girl needs is stackable heart crayons. I mean, how can you live without these? Seriously, though. Okay, and the next one was $1.99 or $1 for the whole thing. This one is some real cute California ones for scrapbooking. I have no idea what boy band this uh, is, but those boys got a lot of hair on their head. So I don't know. It doesn't say, and I'm too old to know. Even when my daughter was that age, she was never into boy bands, so I have no idea. So then we got heart stickers. There is almost like a whole book of these uh, smiling heart or smiling uh, stars, flowers, more smiley faces, more stars, more sl smiley faces, more little, looks like sea stars or whatever three sheets of this and then these are these are cute I may give this to I have a great niece that would probably love this sticker chic um, it has stickers and cards so you can uh, do like a little postcard these are little postcards and then they have stickers and that cute so it's like a whole book of stickers and postcards so the original price on that was 10 so maybe I'll give that to my niece grand niece so not too bad for all the stuff that I got today. I would say I spent maybe $80, but some good pickups today. I have not listed the shirts yet from the last video. So I have to get, I have a staging area and a nice little light box for my smaller items, but I'm gonna have to come up with something a little different for a backdrop for my mannequin i do have a real nice uh, mannequin that i can put the shirts on so i'm working out my lighting and such so just kind of washing them up getting them ready and then once i am ready with a backdrop i can go ahead and just start getting the pictures done and getting them listed so i hope you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up leave a comment down below tell me any particular item you might have information on or what you think and did you know that was a boot jack <laughs> So uh, get out there and find some good stuff. The weather is going for, I tell you, in this area, I'm in northeastern Ohio, and it goes from you're sweating at night. One night it was so hot, we had the window all the way open, and we were sweating when we went to bed. And we still had the window open in the morning, and we were freezing, and our teeth were chattering. <laughs> so, yeah, it's kind of crazy. So um, that's all I got for you. I'm going to be watching Baby Tater. Making sure she recovers. You go, girl, Tater. Tater. I can't even get the tail to wag. It's sad. So she's doped up. She's looking at me like, don't you ever take me in the car again. <laughs> so that's all I got. I will see you next time. And until then, happy picking. Bye.